Hello everyone, my name is Yash Arvind Singh. I am a second year engineering student at Walchand College of Engineering, Sangli. And my PRN number is 2015-BIT-052. Today I am here to discuss how to provide a virtual IP address to the router. Before beginning for on to that, I'd like to suggest something. In my previous lecture where I was to demonstrate a creation of a VLAN in Cisco Packet Tracer, I did not use a router in my topology. If ever you will be using a router in your topology, then you will have to change the mode of the connection between switch and the router to mode trunk. But you can do this by going to the config mode of the switch and look for the fast ethernet to which the router is connected. In this case, it is FA0 by 3. And you can change the mode to trunk. It is already trunk here. Okay, that's it. Now let's provide a virtual IP address to the uh, router. First, we'll start with providing a default IP address to the router. That is a physical one. Let's first enable the router. Uh, I'll be providing the default gateway of the default LAN here. So let's see what the IP address will be. It will be 10.0.0.1. So let's go ahead and do that. Class A network. Option to save it. And now you can go to the config mode and check whether the settings have been applied or no. Sorry. Here. You can see the physical IP address has been assigned to the router. Now, the, we will be providing an, a virtual IP address that uh, to the router that will be the default gateway for the VLAN 2 that we've created and its IP address is 20.0.0.1. So let's go ahead and do that. First we'll enter the con mode for the router. Then, uh, the interface. The interface will basically be at zero by zero point one. This basically means that we'll be providing a virtual IP address to the interface zero by zero, and that port will be zero point one. Here, the sub if means that the creation of a virtual port now. Here you have to, and the command is encapsulation dot one q two, and two is the number of VLAN in which your virtual IP address exists. In my case, it is in VLAN two, and the default gateway is twenty dot zero dot zero dot one. And now we'll specify the IP address for the following. Subnet mask. So we've successfully added a virtual IP address to the router. These are the commands you can use to provide a virtual IP address to the router. And that's it from my side. Thank you for watching.